I spent a good month pretty much going at it all hours of the day, um, you know, early in the mornings, late in the evenings. I had set up alerts on my phone where, you know, they, if something came open, you would get an alert. And I had absolutely no success. Ultimately, we had a friend of a family who was kind of doing um, Good Samaritan work for people to get them appointments. I said, well, here's my information. If you want to give it a try, I, I've had no success. Maybe you can give it a shot. I started to look at, think about ways like how I could make this better for my relatives that were, have been trying desperately for the past few weeks to get, um, you know, vaccine slots. One of them, Rite Aid, you have to go to their website and put in like a zip code and then you have to go through each store and click manually, like search for vaccines. It'll say no appointments available, whatever. I used a program called Auto Hotkey, which uses just as kind of like, you know, put any commands, mouse movement, keyboard strokes, et cetera. So I just made a simple little thing that would just click search, then go to the next door, then search, then go to the next door. It's a great feeling to be able to help people like this. So I personally have helped 115 people. I started getting all these uh, private messages saying, Benjamin, we need help. Benjamin, I can't book it myself. Benjamin, help me, please. Uh, even myself with a, a modest amount of computer knowledge and ability, I mean, I was, I had to basically recruit a young lad to, you know, run the show because I couldn't get an appointment. Yeah, well, um, I got I got the email and I was amazed and and quite frankly I, I I was stunned and I thought what you're kidding me this is amazing he did it I was almost overcome with tears the world's been through a lot in the past year you know and then all of a sudden you're like oh my gosh I'm at the end of the tunnel possibly this is a beautiful thing.